All right, welcome into the show. Creative Crypto here. And today I'm going to give an update here on Rely Fund. Not looking too good here. If you guys are following their Telegram, make sure you have the official Telegram because there is a scam Telegram that tries to hack your wallet. So I will put the real Telegram in the description here because the Rely Fund website has not been working. However, there is still funds in the contract, which is good and bad uh, for now. So let's see what happened here and let's see what's going on. You can see that everything's going great. They were selling their NFTs, which I don't know for sure if they're actually going to deliver on the bots. The more and more I look at this, the more and more I see that this isn't as good as I thought it was or anywhere near what I thought this project was about. Uh, this project is turning out to be more shady than I was led to believe, and it's not looking that great. So I should have definitely done more research and due diligence, kind of just took some people's word for it and jumped into the project. And they're talking about Brandon, who is the owner of this project, who did the AMA on uh, another YouTuber's channel. So basically he's had some type of non-life-threatening injury, and this and that so he can't be around and you know guys i've been through crypto before and i've seen this plenty of times so this isn't this isn't my first rodeo with these type of scam projects here and definitely this is not looking like it's legitimate of course i could be wrong and he, this guy could actually be in an accident but it's not likely because i've seen this like i said they, they just sold all their nfts this guy was about to dox himself and then all of a sudden oh He's had some injury where he can't be here. So, yeah, it's not looking too great. You know, they're trying to keep positive, these people here. But, you know, guys, it's kind of, I'm not really too confident in this moving forward. So, I'll leave this in the description. So, you guys, if you want to follow this, you can't send messages right now. But you can look at, I mean, their previous pinned messages, it was going pretty good. I mean, I don't understand like I said, what I think happened is they ran into some, some bad trades or something and they lost probably a bunch of money. And so this is kind of their way of just basically the, the accident was a bad trade or something because they were probably shorting the market is from what I could gather is that's what their bots were probably doing. They're probably shorting the market because we were giving them stable coins. So they were probably holding those, shorting the market, making a killing for, you know, until the market turned around here. And then it kind of went against them. So that's what I kind of noticed. Everything was going great here until Bitcoin started pumping and the market started pumping. And we went from an $800 billion market cap to $1 trillion. That really, from that point on, I could sense a shift with this project. And I think that's probably what happened. And, you know, they're not going to say it because they don't want to look like they're frauds or look like they failed or this and that. Uh, but I think that's what happened, guys. And... You know, this is the contract here. So also the website isn't online, which, you know, it doesn't have to be online for you to interact with the contract. The main thing is, is that this balance stays here and doesn't get drained out. But the thing is, if they don't add to it like they have been doing, it's going to drain out pretty quickly because this is about one fourth of what was deposited, probably even less, probably one eighth of what was deposited into here. You know, now, of course, some of it has been withdrawn. So give or take, you know, this isn't going to last this too long here. So if you need to withdraw, I can't do it yet because I looked at my uh, previous withdrawal. Just go to your address on the blockchain, guys, and go to your last claim. You can see it. And it has to be over 20, over seven days. So if it's over seven days, then you can come into here, click on write contract, and then you're going to connect your MetaMask right here. Just click MetaMask, connect. Okay. So once you're connected, you'll see it there. Then you can go down here to claim. And then you just click write. This would be the same thing as on the website where you click claim. And then you're going to claim the funds there. Okay. So basically, you can still interact with it as long as there's funds in here. And as long as it's been seven days and you're over the $50 withdrawal threshold. All right. I don't know how to check your withdrawal, how much you have in the, um, you know, to withdraw. If you're wondering if you're close to the $50 or not, uh, there might be a way if you go to read contract, maybe you can see maybe get, no, not get balance. 
Yeah, I'm not sure which one it would be. One of these can tell you. You know, you just have to kind of just gauge by how much you had in there and how long it's been there and just times it by the 2% and just kind of estimate, okay, every 24 hours I make this, so then I can claim on this day. Uh, that's basically the easiest way to do it. So, yeah, guys, um, this pretty much does it for me for the DeFi space. Uh, I, I wanted to give it one more shot here because I thought this was an original type of project. They had a different type of concept. They were transparent. They were... You know, as transparent as you can be, you know, with these type of things, you know, they were active in the community. They seemed, you know, eager to do AMAs and they seemed, you know, knowledgeable on trading. And it's just, this is how it usually works. You know, I just didn't expect it to happen this soon. I thought at least we could get 100 days out of this thing. And it's not looking like we're going to get, you know, very long here. Let's see how long this has been around. You know, this is how you find out you know, on these contracts. So go to last and yeah, it's about, about 32 days old. So we're at that month point, you know, if it was just a straight Ponzi, you know, they've paid out about 60% of what they took in. So this is kind of when, you know, if you're a big time scammer, this is what you do. If you have no, nothing backing your deposits, you know, this is kind of when you <laughs> hit the road and this is kind of what I think is going on here. And they even conned us even more with those NFTs that they sold. Hopefully, you guys didn't buy any of those. I never once said I would buy any of those or interested in that because I wasn't sure how the whole thing was going to work. When you, if you have an NFT for a bot and this and that, it sounds great on paper, but you know anything can sound great in crypto. It's just all a story until it's just you know fantasy. So, guys, um, you know, like I said, it's. <laughs> This is pretty much it for me with DeFi. You know, I was with Drip for the, the last year, you know, not publicly because I didn't think that was going to last very long. Um, luckily, it did. I was able to, to profit. But, you know, guys, uh, the DeFi space has really changed throughout the years in that it's, it's changed to where these scammers have become more prevalent. And it used to be back in the day where these projects would come out and they wouldn't just rug, you know, very quickly. They would actually give people a chance to make money and it just these days just things rug and rug and scam and they really do nothing about it you know i was in a project as well early on a couple years back now called daisy ai this was like the most transparent trading bot platform they had you know brand name people that were out and, and they had this this bot that's been trading these on these hedge funds and this and that and that project raised close to i want to say 100 million if not more money to trade with. And I literally made $0 from that because you put in, it was basically you buy a package. So I bought a hundred dollar package and $50 went to referrals. And then I got to keep the $50 that they traded with. And the thing never got above a hundred dollars. It just, you know, it got up to like $80 one time and I requested a withdrawal of the $30 profit. And after the fees, it was like $25. And I never got it, never got it at all. Yet I still see people talking about Daisy AI and they haven't, nothing's happened with them. There was, there was another scam wallet. I forget the name of it now, but there was this guy, Robert Lee, Robert Lai. He was out in the public, you know, I forget, I forget the name of it, but it was some wallet where they had a coin and then you put it in and put in the trading bot and it was supposed to make money and that thing scammed out never heard anything about them being caught and it's just you know it, it, this is all intentional because the the mainstream and the, the people controlling this world they want to make it seem like crypto is very risky and you lose money in it and you can't make money and it's it's not, not a good place to store your money at all and that's what they're making out to believe and quite honestly that's how it has been uh you know with the whole ftx and everything going down that way it just it's just one after another guys one after another to keep the price of bitcoin in check to keep the price down and to keep the sentiment that it's not a good investment and it's it's a scam basically and quite honestly it could all be it, it, it could all be one big scam i don't think it is because the technology does work you know these these protocols do work like eth and solana and this and that you know solana has been through some rough times um i've actually held my solana bag all the way down and that's kind of what I used to put into Rely Fund. I sold Solana. This is just was a horrible mistake. I sold at the bottom because I didn't want it to be like another Luna or something. 
So I sold Solana at like 10 bucks, and of course it's already doubled. And I put the USDT into Real Life Fund, and that was a total backfire. So I was hoping that it would keep going down more, and I could take the money from Real Life Fund and buy it back cheap. But that totally went against me. I've definitely learned from this. I've learned some different patterns that the market goes through and when to buy and when to sell. And I've noticed that at the beginning of years is when is when it always rebounds. And towards the end of the year is where it, it crashes. There's six month cycles with this. And it's basically for tax reasons, for, for people collecting taxes and then buying on the lows. It's, it's just, it's crazy. And I should have seen this before, but, uh, yeah, guys, so what I'm planning to do is just hold my crypto. I'm not getting into any more risky things. Maybe if I see some potential 100x or, you know, Shiba type of coin, maybe I'll put $20, $50 in it at the max. But that's it. Um, I'm basically sticking with just holding what I have right now, hoping the market can recover. And I want to show you some patterns here that I think the market will recover. And it probably already has, especially with Bitcoin. So this is a two-week chart. And what I use is this RSI here and then this special indicator that I had from a project way back in the day that I still have access to. And it shows here when we get really low and this has a green dot. It's only happened about, you know, not that often here when we're down underneath. It's really only happened one other time, you know, when this can track it. So it happened back here in April of 2019. When we were recovering after the Winklevoss dump and all of that. And from this green dot, from the very peak of the green dot, you know, we pumped another 130%, you know, basically 100%. All right, so we doubled. And then we had another correction. So if you missed out right now, there is still some time, you know, if you want to accumulate now. Or you can wait till the correction. Because look, this is going to run up to about June, July of this year. Okay, this, this pattern is going to play out exactly like it did in the past. All right, so we're going we're gonna to pump another 100%. So Bitcoin is going to go up to like 42 grand. Okay, it's going to go up to 42 grand and then it's going to correct back down to about, you know, maybe 30%, possibly 60%. You know, this was kind of an anomaly here with the COVID. This was the COVID year right here, March 2020. That was an anomaly. So we may only correct this time you know, back down, you know, 40%. Okay. So that would be go from 21,000 right now to 42,000. And then we'll drop, you know, probably to around 29 to 30,000. And that will be the bottom until the next bull cycle, which will start next, you know, March, April, not of this year. This year, the highest we're going to go is 42,000. Okay. That's the highest we're going to go, which is a good, nice double your money. You know, this is the time, you know, to double up. So I might consider actually selling if we, when we do double up in June, July of this year, and then take converting it into USDT, holding that till the next accumulation phase. And this is when the big one's going to hit. This is when we're going to, you know, this looks like, like I said, this could be a, an 8X, 7X, you know, we get the double top, see the double top right here. Once we see the double top, that's when you know, all right? You could sell on the first top, but you know, it's really the same thing. If you want to be less risky, just sell on the first top. And when you see that reversal, see how the reversal of the RSI, all right, the RSI has been exceeded. Okay, but see where, we're, see where we are now? This is the buy zone, okay? We get up here, this is the double top, double top and crash. Okay, double top. See, this one didn't even double top. This one's single topped right here, so. That's why, you know, you're not always going to get the double top. Maybe we don't. So you sell at the tops. And that's what I'm going to do because I haven't done that. Basically, it just held because I just like holding this technology. And other than that, guys, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking at with these patterns of the market. So we'll go from 30,000 at the very low uh, in it's going to be, let's see, it's going to be about April of 20. 24. So from April 2024 until basically a whole year. So you have a whole year to hold. So see, see how they do that in year times? Because that 
takes away the capital gains uh, tax thresholds. So everything's within six month, one year increments. And so we're going to go from about 30,000 to about 200,000. So that'll be April of 2025. So April 2025, that's when we're looking at, guys, for about a $200,000 Bitcoin. And that'll also coincide with the way the halving works. I don't have it on this chart, but it'll also, I've looked at it in the past, and it does coincide with that. So, you know, if you, if you missed, if you think you missed the bottom at 16, you know, I think we're going to touch it again. Like I said, we may not. We may only get back to, you know, from, like I said, 30. But if you get in at 30, that's not too much of a difference from 21 to 30, especially, you know, if you're looking at going from 30 to 200K, which is almost a 10X. So if you get in now and just hold until 2025, which is basically two years, say two years and three, four months, okay, you hold till then, then you're looking at about a 10X. So... To me, that's that's the way to go. You know, all these other scam projects and these DeFi dApps and these farms and everything else is going to come and go. And I don't want to be around for it. So I'm just here for the long term. And that means looking at the charting, following trends, following patterns, trying to accumulate at the bottoms and sell at the tops and preserve your capital for the long term. So that's what I'm looking at, guys. And let me quickly show you the same thing happens with Ethan Solana it's it's very insane so let me show you that real quick and then I'll end this video okay guys so this is Solana on the left this is Sol all right and this is ETH over here this is ETH all right so you can see Solana this is with a double top pattern again see the double top okay double top and then crash all right so what did ETH do ETH in the very beginning of ETH 2017 2016 into 2017, that's when ETH was created, all right? And then we have a double top yet again right here. Double top, okay? See the double top and then the crash and the crash. So you notice also the RSI, look how it has that same pattern, all right? So Solana is right here, okay? So this is where we are in Solana's phase, which is right here coinciding with Ethereum. See the two green candles? So we get the two green candles. All right. So this is, like I said, this is the 100% pump, just like Bitcoin had. And then the crash. Notice with the altcoins, they crashed more. Okay. They crashed basically back to their somewhat lows of before. Okay. Now, it may not do that again, but we'll see here. Okay. This was the COVID dump again. And then the run up to 7 to 8x right here. Okay. From, from this low, it's a 10x. Now, Solana is looking like it's going to do the same thing. The only thing that has me is, is this indicator that I use here hasn't completely, you know, reversed. So that's what kind of threw me off when I sold my Solana because I saw this and I didn't see it. I sold right before the new year. That was so dumb. I'll never do that again because it's just a way to wash out the previous year's highs and to accumulate low to start the new year. I didn't know that back then. All right. But I know that now. So. What we're going to do is <laughs> follow these patterns. And, you know, when I saw this, I thought, oh, man, we're going to get we're going to go down to five dollars, you know, four dollars Solana. But it never did. It hit like seven, eight. And then it shot back up to twenty two, twenty three. And that just absolutely killed me inside to see that <laughs> um, I didn't keep I kept like a, just a couple Solana. But, yeah, guys, it just hurts to hold from the top for that. Uh, just don't don't follow that. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely a learning experience. I've been around for a while and I still make mistakes, you know, like everybody. Okay. But notice double top again. Okay. Double top again. See, and this one actually did get the double top because this top was higher. And then this is what we've been in this face here, guys, the lows. So it's reversing. You can see the green again. Like I said, this is probably going to mimic. All right. But there is a chance now. There is a slight chance that. This gets exposed. This pattern gets exposed now because it's been out there now. And I'm sure other people are going to pick up on this now after this video. And they might decide, no, we're not going to have a second accumulation. We're just going to go up 8x from here. And we're going to get rid of this because this was an anomaly with COVID. All right. So get rid of that. And we just go straight up from here, 8x. 
that's in the cards. And if you want to hedge your bets, then now would be the time to just hold what you have. Try not to sell anything else. Convert most of your basically at least half of your stablecoin holdings into either Bitcoin, Ethereum. If you want to get risky, you could get Solana as well. But that is more higher risk because it's not as prevalent as ETH and BTC. So BTC would be their first bet. ETH would be your second best bet. And yeah, just ride this wave to the next top. Cash out and enjoy. So that's what I'm waiting for, guys. April 2025. That will be the ultimate top for the crypto market. And that's the time to cash out. So if you can wait till then, have strong hands. Don't look at the markets. Don't get involved in these DeFi dApps, these DeFi scams. You know, don't give anybody your crypto to trade and this and that. Just hold and you will be rewarded. That's all I have for you guys. Just wanted to show you that. Kind of keep it ended on a positive note instead of, you know, negative with the Rely Fund. You know, I didn't want to lose anything in there. I probably only was able to pull out. <laughs> if I can get my next withdrawal, I'll probably be able to pull out another 150 bucks, And I'll be at, you know, 300 back from the 1000 I put in. So that's not very good, and that's not something that I want to ever happen again. For that to not happen again, then I can't take the risk of it happening. I'm going to learn from that. There's always a learning experience in crypto, no matter how many years you've been in the space. If you take risk, if you gamble, things like that happen. It, it could have went the opposite direction. It could have been the next app that's here for two or three years. You never know. Um, I want to take the risk. I kind of risked too much, and because of that, it's a big-time learning experience. So... Hope you guys learned from this. Hope you guys didn't risk too much as well. And hope you guys are able to recover and ride this next wave of the bull cycle. And then we can cash out at the top this time. I'll definitely make a video, you know, try to off and on when I can. Definitely when the next tops are in. And yeah, guys, that's really it. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Talk to you guys next time. Until then, take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.